They also seized evidence of the freak-offs, electronic devices that contain images and videos of the freak-offs with multiple victims. And they seized cases and cases of the kinds of personal lubricant and baby oil that Combs' staff allegedly used to stock hotel rooms for the freak-offs, more than 1,000 bottles altogether. All right, so I'm sure at this point in time, it's not even a question. Everybody knows what's going on. Did it? has been arrested for trafficking, pretty much. Y'all know the words before it. Diddy has been denied a bond twice, but he actually decided that he would forfeit $50 million bond, his passport for him and all his kids. They still said no, that Diddy is going to have to sit in jail until his hearing. Now, if you don't know nothing about court, Court hearings could take forever to even get a trial date. So he talk, they talk about letting him sit to trial. Now his kids have been visiting every day as far as saying the court hearing the appeal after appeal for him to go ahead and, you know, get out on the bun. But the judge is like, nah, they think he's a risk. Well, surfing around now that, anyway, it's surfing around now that he is on that watch. For the SU, you know, that time where you, you're going to unlive your own self because you can't take it. Now, this is according to reports. So following his arrest for accusation of trafficking, racketeering, the RICO, and transportation the purpose of engaging in prostitute, you know, finish it out. Diddy was remanded to the Brooklyn facility on Tuesday, September 17th after pleading not guilty. He's been denied bail twice. Although it's unclear if Diddy has expressed, you know, unaliving thoughts, sources report that he's on that type of watch. In a preventative measure due to the state of shock and uncertainty surrounding his mental health. Now, they do use it as a precautionary tool, you know, to make sure he don't, according to reports. But you can read it here, the final thing, what they say is going on. And let me know how you feel about it in the comments down below. Y'all really believe did it on that type of time? Or he just like, let me ride this thing on out in this place. Because y'all know they giving him whatever he want. That's my opinion. Let me know yours in the comment down below. If you know what to do, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Bye. It's part of this investigation. In March of this year, special agents from HSI executed search warrants at Combs' residences in Miami and Los Angeles. They also executed a warrant for Combs' electronic devices. During those searches, agents seized evidence of the crimes charged in this indictment. They seized firearms and ammunition, including three defaced AR-15s and a large-capacity drum magazine. They also seized evidence of the freak-offs electronic devices that contain images and videos of the freak-offs with multiple victims. And they seized cases and cases of the kinds of personal lubricant and baby oil that Combs' staff allegedly used to stock hotel rooms for the freak-offs, more than 1,000 bottles altogether. Here are some of the items that we recovered during the searches. As you can see here, this is a drum magazine, large capacity, and it contains, I believe, 59 rounds. I mentioned as well, we recovered three AR-15s. This is a close-up shot of one of the AR-15s, and you can see right here, the serial number has been thoroughly defaced. First, this office is determined to investigate and prosecute anyone who engages in trafficking, no matter how powerful or wealthy or famous you may be. No one should doubt our commitment on that. A year ago, Sean Combs stood in Times Square and was handed a key to New York City. Today, he's been indicted and will face justice in the Southern District of New York. Are you okay? Are you feeling okay? And I hope the mom, the whole grandma, get better soon.